Have you wondered how to finish off your hat, measure it on the rotating double knit loom, finish it up at the top, and also what do I do with this anchor yarn? We're going to cover all that today in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses Techniques and Tutorials. Hi, I'm Kristen. We're teaching techniques and tutorials at Good Knit Kisses to help keep you in stitches. <laughs> All right, let's begin. In today's tutorial, we are going to determine how long to knit our hat on the KB double knit loom. This is the rotating double knit loom. And as you can see, we have these upright supports here and they prevent us from pulling the hat outward and measuring. So this is how you would measure. Push all your stitches all the way down and they meet the top of this loom here. This part here is a half an inch and the upright support down to this U-shape area is four and a half inches. So from the very top of where our stitches can be, but we're pushing them down to the bottom of the pegs. So from the bottom of the pegs down to this U-shape portion is five inches. And then we will fold our knitting up like this, go all the way around. Um, you don't want to like pull it and overstretch it, but just pull it down as you normally would and then flip it up. And then you're gonna take this measurement here. So this is really the main measurement you need. So we're gonna get our measuring tool out and turn it to the side, measuring it. And I am at three inches. And then I know three plus this five is eight. So I wanted my hat uh, between eight and eight and a half inches, I'm gonna make mine eight inches and we're going to bind this off. So now that we know what it is, we're gonna grab our loom pick of choice. I'm just gonna set those out of the way. I'm just gonna use this loom hook or tool. And then we're gonna take all the stitches from the inside loom to the outside loom. Just move them straight over. Just pick that stitch up and move it across. Go ahead and do that all the way around the loom or you can start on the opposite side and move it towards you so we're pulling that loop towards us and to the back there and continue going around all the way around the loom and i'll meet you back up for the next step see you soon now that we've moved all of our stitches to the outer loom we need to hook over our bottom loop over the top. So you'll just be lifting these up and over. So just continue to work around in a circle, knitting over. Pause your video and I'll see you in a moment. All right, so we've knit all those over and now we just need to take our working yarn and go around the loom one time and cut it. And now with this tail that we've made, we want to take our tapestry needle and work it through all the stitches on the loom. So I'm just gonna start going through the stitches and um, I'm gonna leave off on this last stitch I did here and I can either work uh, one to the right or one to the left uh, because I wanna go back through this last stitch one more time. So go ahead and just uh, lift up all these, go through them and take them off as you go, either work to the right or work to the left. If you need your loom hook, go ahead and do that. All right, see you in a moment. All right, so I've gone through my last stitch and now we can just pull this hat right on out of here. It needs to lift up and out. There we go. And now we're just gonna take our um, stitches here and pull it with this yarn and it closes up the top part of your hat. And so now you just go through here and stitch it. This is actually a reversible hat. And um, so you can just stitch it on the outside here and make it really easy for yourself. And I like to go through uh, several of these stitches and really get that in there. And go through the opposite side and another one and then go through one of those last loops that I just pulled through and do that one more time I 
leave a loop and pull on through and then you can uh, cut your yarn um, but I would recommend going right in between because it's a double knit it will hide your tail really well and so we're just gonna kind of wiggle in between these stitches and get it down to the main body and just work through the middle here and then I'm going to zigzag that and go back through another direction, really making sure it's in there. And cut our yarn. Um, I'm going to turn mine inside out here. Got our hat made, and then you have these beginning ends. So this anchor yarn, if you said, what is this for? This is where you finish it. Now that it's off the loom, what you need to do is um, go through and you find the beginning of where this began. Find your tail and you want to work in the opposite direction of your tail. So start with the very next stitch over because we're going to pull through that uh, yarn tail in the end. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick this one up and I'm going to work to my left. If you're left-handed, you'll want to work to your right. And I'm just going to pick up this first stitch with a hook that's appropriate for the size of yarn you used and then pick up the next one. So we're just not going to use the anchor yarn. We're just picking up these loose stitches that you can see very clearly with the anchor yarn. You're going to turn your hook through that little eyelet that you make. When you turn the hook, it makes a little teardrop shape and then it knits over or hooks over one. It's a chain stitch. So we go through the next one that appears and then hook that on through making a chain go to the next one turn it and hook it on through and making a chain so you're just going to continue working one stitch and if you have a hard time twisting it you can just pick it up with your finger and move it like that and it whoops and it has this nice little chain that happens and if you drop one that's okay because you still have your um, anchor <laughs> right there all right so we're just going to continue going all the way around Pause your video and I'll meet you back at this other end and we'll finish that off together. See you soon. All right, I'm coming to the end of where my anchor yarn is and I untied uh, this area that I just had a loose bow with so I can really see it now. So I've got one more loop and then that's where the beginning strand is. So I'm going to just go ahead and pull this one loop through. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull through this final uh, yarn here. And then I'm going to connect these two pieces just by getting out my tapestry needle. And before I put that in and finish it, uh, I want to go ahead and pull out this anchor yarn here. So just pull right on that and it should all come out. Okay. So that has finished off that edge there and I just want to connect it. Go ahead and... Go right up to where that uh, where that chain stitch was and go through both stitches and then go back into the one you just did. Actually, let me come back out of that. That was a little elongated. Let me come down here and go right through there and then through the stitch that I was in before to match up and make a chain to uh, to match it, really. And then we're going to go, uh, I'm going to go on the inside here. I'm going to come down through the next stitch down here. I'm just going to turn my hat inside out just for a moment. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, go right up one of these columns of knit stitches here. And when you go into the bottom right of this column here, and then whip around to the outside of that stitch and continue to go around. If you have a bent needle, it works really well. Just kind of keep whipping around and it'll go right up into this column here and you will actually retain the stretchiness of your stitch here. So go right up there like that and you can just continue up and then I'm going to come right back down so turn it around and come around that stitch. It doesn't go quite as easy on the way back down, but it does still work. And you can just pull right on through. And because this is a double knit, 
here let's just tug on that for a second because it's a double knit I can hide the rest of my tail on the inside I can just go right in between these layers here okay just kind of go at an angle make sure you're in between you're not going through to the other side there just go right on through and pull that tail whoops let's just put that on here okay so right on the inside pull on that clip it and you've got a nice beautiful finished hat with a really beautiful detailed edge here with the chain stitch on it. Thanks for joining me on Good Knit Kisses Technique Tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and also comment down below and tell me what techniques and stitches that you would like to see. Have a great day and happy knit and crochet.